So in this video, it's, this could be a long video, guys, not too long, hopefully, 3D modeling. Now, what I want to do, I want to capture that building there. Now, this is the old railway station that was never used. Even the railway track was never put down, but they put in the, obviously, where the track was going to go, and the building's been left to ruin, really. But I thought it would be a good demonstration how to do a 3D model. And it's free, and you can use your new drone, your Mini 3 Pro. Um, now the software is free, but when I say it's free, you've got like a two weeks trial, but you're not tied into it. But anyway, the first thing you want to do, get a drone up, and what we're going to do, we're going to use the point of interest, because what we've got to do is take loads of photographs at different heights. Anyway, you get a gist of it while, it, while it's in there. So, so we get on with it and I'll show you what we got to do. So the screen records on now. Everything's on. So I've got the drone up in the air. Now what I've done, I've changed a few things in the settings. Now I'm a foot, feet, feet and inches man, but I'll put it into metrics. What you want to do, have the drone about 23 metres away from the, the place you want to circle and what we're going to do we're going to put it we're just going to put a box around the building um, and we're going to do point of interest and what we're going to do now we're just going to go slowly around the building now at the moment it's going anti-clockwise but while it's doing that i'm taking photographs And you just keep taking photographs. Just take as many photographs as you can. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, guys, make sure you've got ob no obstructions like trees or big bushes and that. So it is, um, you have to suss out the area first before you start doing this. Now, I'm hoping because I've never done this before myself. I've just been watching uh, a video on how this guy done it. I think it's a Dutch guy that done this, which I thought was really interesting, especially um, you, you don't have to get some special software. But you can see there, I'll just keep taking the photographs, but also, if you remember guys, you need to, um, make sure it's set in JPEG and not JPEG and RAW. It just cuts down on the file. The JPEGs is, is adequate for this sort of job. Now, as you can see, I'm going behind the building now. And what you've got to do is we go, we're going anti-clockwise. Once we've done a full circle, we go clockwise. And then we're going to go up a little bit. Now, looking at it, I could have come in a little bit, a little bit closer. And also, you've got to remember. <laughs> wait, I mean, the more photographs that you can take, the better, really. And if you noticed, um, it's it's going around slowly and not belting around because that you would take less photographs, obviously. Right, so I'm going to stop it there. Come out of that. So the drone stopped at the moment. I'm going to do point of interest. Now I'm going to go and move it around the other way. And don't forget to press go. So now it's going around clockwise now. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to speed up that 
Um, it's just a little bit. That's it. Obviously, the other thing he's got to look at is also your battery time. So it's probably going to end up using a, a full battery. Just taking these photographs. Okay, we stop it here now. And what we want to do now is raise up the drone so we can see so we can see the roof. We just dip dip that camera down a bit. Bring it up a little bit more. Okay, and we just dip dip that camera down a little bit more. Ugh, keeps doing that for some reason. So annoying when it does that. Just a little bit more. Okay. What we're gonna do now? Do the same again. Put the point of interest around it. Okay. So it's going to go around the other way. Oh. I'm just going to do it the once. I think if you want a really amazing, maybe do it like it done before. I think because I'm just doing the roof part, don't need it, but famous words I suppose right if you notice there I've got low battery I've only got like five minutes left but I just want to get this circle round it's just coming round now now I just started it just over that way so hopefully I've just got enough okay so the, the drone's coming back now. So another safety factor on this, obviously. Low battery, return to home promptly. Okay. So I got, I still got another three minutes of battery power. And thankfully I'm not very far away anyway. So, that's the, um, well, I would say that's probably the hard point, is just getting that right. You might have to do this a few times just to get it right. Now, I was out maybe a little bit too far. I should have come in a little bit. Um, but anyway, we're going to see, we're going to go back to the studio now. I'll show you the software that you're going to need. Now, hopefully, I might be able to show you some other software that won't get you tied up in anything. But, like I said before, this bit of software, you've got three weeks two weeks free trial you're not you're not committed you ain't got to give me a credit card details anything like that so so we get back to the office and i'll show you the magic stuff <laughs> so i'm back in the studio now and i thought what i'll do i'll be on, i'm on the computer now now guys you want to go into this this name here which is drone deploy it's free um it's a, like a you got like a two week trial so you, you can do as many projects as you like after the trial obviously you have to pay but you don't have to give them any of your bank details you're not tied into anything you won't get any like logos on your work or anything like that but i'll take it obviously not to get the full product but you will get the 3d model uh which you can copy and obviously if you've got a computer you can do a screen save if you work as well so the first thing you've got to do is obviously you've got to set up an account now the account um, when you open it up it does ask you a few questions obviously they want you to if you're a business mainly but you don't have to put in your business name you just obviously put in your name uh, and a few other things oh what I will do because I'm recording this now as so I put up the couple of the of the um, the screen saves that I've done just it's not that complicated but it does look complicated but it's not that difficult so once you get into it open up the account that you've opened up so this is this is my work at the top here uh, and, and the one we're looking at is this one um, examples so I'll just go into this one now 
So this, this is the station that i done. This is the abandoned station. Now I have my car parked over here. Um, and I think you can just work out just about, you can see the circle there, what the drone is doing. And I'll click on the model. It's just loading up now. Now the other thing it did say is um, use Google Chrome. Well, I'm using my Safari. Um, to me, it, it's, it seemed to be loading up okay. It's still loading up as you can see on the top bar there. And I did that on October the 23rd. So it gives you another idea. And you can see by that circle there is what the drone was covering. So I can twist that. I can go up underneath it. This is even more bizarre, isn't it? Uh, and to be quite honest, I thought it did a really good shot. Now, I've got the location. I've got the, the selector there. And I'm just trying to see where I showed you the photographs. So this is the map of my photographs. So all, all these, like envelopes, are all the photographs that I took when I was going around. You can see, so you can see, I had over, yeah, 385 photographs there. So obviously the more photographs you, you have, the better. And if you notice, um, these two lower orbits here, one I went anti-clockwise and one I went clockwise, and you can see there the sort of overlapping. Now obviously, I've... It'd probably be even better if I did two further laps. And the higher one is the one where I was looking down on the building. And if I just click on one of these photographs here, it actually comes up with a photograph that I took with the drone. So that just gives you some idea. Uh, and if I wanted to, I can move on to the next photograph and the next. So that, that just gives you an idea um how it's done now obviously what you want to see is how i actually done it so what we do we come out of this a moment um and just go back to maps right so i want to set up a new um project so projects right here we go back into projects Right, so wanted to, I've got three more days left, as you can see on there. Um, I want to set up a new project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, I did another one um, a couple of days ago, but I didn't do as many photographs as I wished. So I'll just make that a little bit smaller. Just try and find where it was. It was just over here. Um, think it was in that area but that's just what you've got to do first guys you've got to find the place that you did your your drone footage from and as you look in you never find it <laughs> i'm sure oh here it is this is it right it's an old mining building this this area here i'll just make it a little bit bigger okay this is this is the area that i did um right create your project here so i'm going to call this um mine abandoned I'm going to call it one continue right so what you've got to do now you got to load up your photographs so we go over to upload and we got where it says smart uploader we click on that we then choose the files wherever your 
Um, wherever you put your files, I'm just going to try and find mine. <laughs> uh, right, where did I do it? Is it there? There it is. Um, I did it mine. Mine, that's it. So I put all my photographs in this file. So you have to make a file guide with all your photographs. And then what you do, obviously you click there and you click there and then you upload. Now I've already done this, so I don't really need, but once you upload, so I'll just come out of that for the moment because I don't want to do the same thing again. Once you upload, it will then take probably a couple of hours to put all the photographs together and then you can go back into your um, project to see um, what you've done. And it will come up at the side here, your projects. Right, so that was my first one and this is the mine that I've just done today. But if I click on this one here, this is what I did on the 28th. So this is the mine I did a couple of days ago. Now, because I'll be honest, guys, I didn't do many photographs. I think, as you can see there, 130 compared to my 385. So not even, um, not even double. And, it, and this is what will happen if you don't do enough photographs. So this is probably a good example um, what it's going to look like. So it looks pretty, I mean, it's just still loading up at the moment, but it still looks pretty broken. So it's still loading. I mean, and also I've only done part of the build. I didn't do the whole lot. I just did a small part of it. But as you can see, there's bits missing. Whereas the other one, you had like a, you had a complete square. Um, so yeah, you got these bits missing here. It's because I didn't do enough photographs. So that's that's another reason why you got it. I mean, it, it still looks pretty good, you know. And also you can see the the um, the ground, how the ground's laid as well. You can get an underneath version of it. So, hope you found that useful, guys. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what your thoughts are about this. Um, I know there are apps that you can download, supposedly, and get something like this, but I thought this is a pretty good uh, way of um, having a go at it for a couple of weeks. It is expensive, I must say. It's not cheap. Um, and if I come out, if we can find um, the pricing on it, that would be interesting. But, uh, let's have a look. If I can upgrade now. So anyway, here, here we go. Um, I don't know if it's to tell you the prices on there. For the, for this area. Now this is the prices. <laughs> and this is a month. So, but you're to get all this information uh, that comes with it. So obviously if you're a, an architect or a developer or something like that, yeah, this is really good. And if you're going into that sort of business, if you the usual drone to do this type of work, it's expensive, but then it is an expensive way of doing things. But just for a, a, a trial, I think it's amazing. So as always, guys, if you think it's um, you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And uh, I'll catch you on another one.